Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In our last video, we discussed environments in GitHub Actions and how to configure them. We covered options like adding approvals, preventing self-reviews, setting timers, and bypassing rules. If you haven't watched this video yet, I highly recommend you check it out first before moving forward with this one. Also, in the video where we covered about secrets and variables, we briefly touched on environment secrets and environment variables in GitHub. However, we didn't dive into them fully because we hadn't covered the concept of environments at that time. Now that we have a solid understanding of environments in GitHub Actions, let's explore how secrets and variables work within them. Let's say you have a variable whose value changes depending on the environment. In this case, repository variables won't work because they apply to all environments, which means they aren't environment specific. Uh, for example, imagine you have a repository variable called uh, username with the value interview pro. However, in different environments such as dev, stage and prod, the username changes. You might have interview pro underscore dev for dev environment, underscore stage for stage and underscore prod for prod. Since repository variables are common across all environments, you cannot achieve this with them. This is where environment variables come into play. To configure environment specific variables, you can either go to secrets and variables section and click on manage environment variables or manage environment secrets or directly navigate to the environment section in your repository. Since I am already in the secrets and variables screen, I'll click on manage environment variables button. This will take me directly to the environment section. In this case, we have three environments. Let's go ahead and create a variable called username for each of these environments. Under environment variables, click on add environment variable. I'll call it username and I'll give a variable value interview pro underscore dev uh, this is for prod so i'll call it interview pro underscore prod let me copy this and click on add variable you see that there is an environment variable created let's go back to other environments now i'll click on stage do the same thing add environment variable here instead of prod i'll say stage and the name of the variable remains the same We'll repeat the same for dev. Now it's uh, interview pro underscore dev and username. Add variable. Now let's go back to the environment screen. You will notice there is a text called one variable. If you head over to the secrets and the variable section, you will see all these variables listed under variable section along with their respective environment names. Now let's try printing these variables in our workflow. I'll use the same workflow that we created earlier and print ours.username. Let me edit this. In this workflow called environments.yml, we have three environments, dev, stage, and prod. And we mapped each of these jobs to the respective environments. Let's print another line here which displays the environment variable username. To access uh, username, we use vars.username, similar to how we access repository variables. Let me copy paste the same code in all environments. I'll go to stage, add a new line here, and add an echo statement. Do the same for prod. I'll also add a job that is independent of environment just to see what value will be printed. So I'll create a test job here and uh, it runs on Ubuntu. Ubuntu latest runner and I'll simply copy paste uh, these steps. I'll call this test deployment and we'll print the username. Let me commit the changes. Click on view runs. 
I'll run the workflow. Okay, it's deployed to dev. Let me approve the stage deployment. Let me click on this dev to see what value is printed. If I open deployment step, I see username is interview pro underscore dev. Let's see what is printed in stage. But before that, let me approve prod. Now go to stage, expand deploy. We see interview pro underscore stage. We should see the same thing in prod, but we have a, a waiting timer here. The timer is for one minute. So let's wait for the timer to complete to see the value. Prod deployment is completed. Let's see the value that's printed. It says interview pro underscore prod. Now let's go to the job that is not mapped to any environment. And if you look at the value, it's interview pro. This value is taken from repository variable because we did not attach this job to any environment. So the same thing applies to repository secrets. The values won't be displayed on the screen because the secrets are masked for security, but now you know how to configure them. I'll show how to configure them anyway. Let's go to environments, go to each and every environment. And now we go to the section environment secrets, click on add new environment secret. We already have a repository secret called password. I'll use the same name here and the value will be test underscore prod underscore one, two, three Add secret. Now go back to stage. Repeat the same, click on add environment variable, update this to stage and it's password. Now go to dev, add secret, update this to dev, it's password. Click on add secret. If you go back to environments, we see one secret and one variable for each of these environments. Let's go to secrets and variables to see if these secrets are added here. So now we have a secret named password in each of these environments and also a secret with the same name in the repository secrets. To access this secret in the workflow, we use secrets context. I'll copy this, use password, and update this to password. Now we have to use secrets context. Copy paste the same thing in the other job. And same here. And here. Commit the changes. As I mentioned earlier, we do not see those values because secrets are masked. But anyway, let me run this workflow. So it's uh, deployed to dev stage and test and it's waiting for prod. Let's click on dev, open deploy. We do not see the password, but it's accessing it from environment variables. If I go to test, I'll see a masked password, but this will be coming from repository secrets. This is how you can configure secrets and variables at the environment level to add an extra layer of security to your workflows. I hope the concept is clear. If you found this content helpful, please like, share and comment. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.